Yellowstone supervolcano eruption? When are scientists predicting that the next eruption will take place? Yellowstone recently raised the alert level for Yellowstone. They call it a high risk. And uh, the scientists are trying to predict when the next eruption will take place. Yellowstone supervolcano, one of the most dynamic sites on Earth, one of the few supervolcanoes of Earth. Speculation that the volcano could explode sometime soon was, of course, sparked after the dormant Yellowstone geyser recently erupted, and uh, it's been erupting quite a few times this year, which is giving a high alert level to the volcano. Scientists predict the next Yellowstone eruption. When will it take place? Yellowstone last erupted 664,000 years ago. However, scientists still consider it worth monitoring constantly. They even have a volcano observatory right there. Three eruptions at Yellowstone appear to have occurred 600,000 to 700,000 year cycles starting at 2.1 million years ago. The most recent one took place 664,000 years ago, and some geologists believe that this means Yellowstone is overdue for another eruption. A supervolcano is thousands of times more powerful than a regular volcano, and that could result in changes felt all acro across the planet. In March, Yellowstone steamboat geyser began a series of eruptions for the first time since 2014, and that further sparked fears that Yellowstone may erupt soon, because that's way out of the ordinary. And it's been erupting since then. USGS has noted that hydrothermal changes in Yellowstone's geysers are not linked to any increased volcanic activity at the supervolcano, despite fears of an eruption being very near, there's no need to worry at the moment, they say. The USGS said the odds of Yellowstone erupting are 0.00014%, and they said that that's lower than the odds of getting hit by a civilization-destroying asteroid. Some say the supervolcano may never erupt again. Others say, well, they don't know when it will erupt. The majority of geologists have also dismissed concerns saying that the geyser eruptions does not increase the chances of new volcanic activity. Steamboat geyser is within the year of 2018 has erupted a total of 43 times, the latest one being on October 15th. The steamboat geyser can scatter water and steam up to 400 feet into the air. Steamboat geyser does not erupt on a predictable schedule with recorded intervals being major eruptions between major eruptions ranging from four days to 50 years. Steamboat, uh, Steamboat Geyser was dormant from 1911 to 1961. That's 50 years. Few environments on our planet are as extreme as Yellowstone's uh, volcanic chambers, magma chambers. Yellowstone volcano is thousands of times more powerful than a regular volcano, as we said. The, in 2014, a team of scientists published a paper exploring what a Yellowstone super eruption might look like. That hypothetical report of that eruption, uh, in that report the scientists found the eruption would be preceded by massive, unmissable warning signs. The volcano, they said, could eject at least 240 cubic miles of material and lava would not be the problem. It would be the pyrocastic flow that would cause volcanic ash to be ejected miles into the air and scattering across the whole of the United States. It could bury the northern Rockies in three feet of ash and devastate the United States, well, most of the United States, over half of it, and of course the immediate states of Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, Montana, and Utah, affecting millions of people. Millions would be killed, along with plants and animals dying and buildings being crushed. I'll leave a link below for you for this on Express.